Hello, Bidgets! Can you believe I forgot about this? I'm actually keeping track of the names you guys are giving me. Today, my name is French Baguette. By the time this video is uploaded, I should be in college already, except I'm bulk recording because I like my house. I've been... Watching Minecraft videos again. Boy, have you lost your mind? Cause I'll help you find it. I don't know why everyone likes Minecraft all of a sudden, but I used to play it back in the beta, even the alpha version. And I want to do some more Minecraft art just in my dorm, so that when I bring someone over, they know I'm a gamer and I have taste. And I have no room for the Minecraft painting, so I wanted something smaller. And one thing I really wish I could have in my dorm is plants. But if you guys watched my college vlogs in the past, you would know that my room faces the north, and I get literally no light. It's always blue, so yes, I'm very sad in there. <laughs> Every plant in there has died and I had to bring them back to my house. Or I would have my friends take care of them because they get a lot of sun. But what if the plant wasn't real? That's what I'm here to do today. I'm going to make a Minecraft rose out of cubes. I think this is, yeah, this is 120 cubes. I honestly hope this is enough. I didn't really count how many cubes I would need, but if 120 cubes isn't enough, well, I'll just prime some more. Maybe I'll make some outside because I have a lot of trees around me. I also wanted to wear red because a rose is red, but this is also my favorite shirt, so I swear if this gets any paint on it, let's just say y'all owe me a new shirt. Can we tone it down with the packaging? I don't think these cubes are going to be going anywhere. You don't need to wrap them in eight layers of bubble wrap, guys. Oh, I'm going to get a splinter. Just some stress relief because I know I'm gonna stress myself out. No matter what, anytime I paint something, something goes wrong. So I have done pixel art in the past with cubes, but I was like 10 years old, I think. If y'all remember IS Cupquake, she did this series called DIY Geeky Goodies and I did one of the 8-bit fishes. But correct me if I'm wrong, I've never seen someone do a Minecraft rose and uh, the flower pot. I've seen people just DM me like, can you paint the Minecraft rose on a canvas? Guys, it's like eight different colors and it's 32 squares. That's like here. I want to be up here. So I'm going to try to do my research first. A few minutes later. Oh, I'm going to need a lot more than 120. Yeah, no shit! That is not, hmm. I took a look at the flower pot and I think it's a good 100 blocks all around. Fuck, what if I want it to be 3D? That's going to be even more. I don't have enough cubes for this. I think I'm actually gonna spend $30 on wood just for this. Okay, first we're gonna lay out the Minecraft rose. So I need 18 red and then 12 green. So that's the rose. Now the flower pot, mm -hmm. 144. Mm. I do in fact need more, so let's Amazon Prime some more, shall we? So I spent a total of $30 for this project. This is not worth it. Now I know that there's no rose anymore, it's only poppies in Minecraft, but I hate how they look. So I'm just gonna go off of this image. There are four different shades of red in this. We're gonna start off with true red right here. And once I'm done with this shade, we're gonna add a little more black just to make it darker and get every single shade. Give me one moment while I try to picture this in my head. All right, I can't physically comprehend how to make this 3D. So to be safe, I'm just gonna paint some extra cubes for each shade. On the image, it shows only five bright red, but I'm gonna paint nine. And I know in the last video, you guys said I didn't have a big brush to work with. Well, it turns out I have these foam brushes back here and I forgot about them. I'll just be doing this for an hour. This is gonna be quite boring. I was also debating painting every single one white and then with red, but I would actually want to die, so we're not gonna do that. Hey guys, it's your boy, that voiceover Asian. Let me just say I'm sorry that the lighting in this whole video just is crazy. Like, you're, you're gonna see right now, the sun starts to set and I have to like make up for it, but I don't make up for it well. It's only this clip that changes multiple times, but just bear with me. And let me just say, Apple Barrel Paint sucks butt. Like, it's terrible. I know it's everyone's basic acrylic paint that they could afford, but this took, I think, five layers just to get it to be opaque. Be patient when you're painting. I would not wait for it to dry in between. I would just keep layering and that just ends up taking the other layer off. Think of makeup when you're just like adding layers but instead of adding layers you're just scraping it because you don't know how to use a foundation brush and then you go to school and you look terrible but no one has the courage to tell you that so they just support you and then you end up going home looking like shit. This is a personal story. I have been painting for like three hours, I think. And I haven't even finished all the rose ones. I don't know why this takes so long to paint. It looks like I committed bloody murder. It's gotten to the point where I can peel it off because there's so many layers of paint on here. And I don't know if I did this wrong. Maybe I should have painted a layer of white first, but 
These don't layer well. I think I had to layer each paint three times to get it to be like opaque. I'm gonna finish up all the red and then the green and then we're just gonna get to gluing because I don't want a whole video of me time-lapsing paint. All right, calm down everyone. We have a child in the room. I trust that you can stay there and be nice. Oh, you're on low battery already? I can't deal with you right now, Vector. No. No, don't make it about you. I, I, he, he needs to charge. I'll deal with this. I also realized that even though my dad is an engineer, there's no wood glue in this household. So let me just buy some more. Ready, see this shit? Add to cart. Oh my god, I also just realized I'm so glad I caught this. The 100 cubes I shipped earlier, yeah, those are about to go to my New York dorm. So we're gonna cancel that, reorder more, hopefully get this all done before the end of the week. Mm, I hate painting. Welcome back to my vo- I can't do it, I can't do it! So yeah, I'm still painting the rose and going over every single layer once again. But I found that this was sort of tolerable because I could just catch up on my podcast that I haven't watched lately. For those of you who want to know, I watched like 10 episodes of Jenna Julian and I started watching watching Death Note because I didn't realize it was on Netflix. I was so impatient at this point that I started blowing on the cubes to get them to dry faster. Don't do that by the way, it's not worth it. And I also ran out of space to put my paint on the sunflower palette I have. Whenever paint dried on it, I would never take it off and it's really hard to lift off because there's like indents inside it. And when I did I paint on top, it would start lifting off the previous dried paint and sort of like getting chunky and that really bugged me because I could see it on the cubes. But I found that Amazon Prime packaging and the thin plastic wrap around every single package that doesn't need to be a thing is also a great alternative. Back to the video though, I finally got to the green portion of the rose. First painted the cubes in white just to see like if the green would show better and be more vibrant. Oh, and if you're wondering why I left for a little bit, it's because I did my nighttime routine because it was around midnight at this point, but I still had to put a face mask on because I was just in the mood. And yeah, that is what I look like when I have a face mask on. Don't judge, okay? I had to put my hair up. I also started wearing a glove because I got tired of washing my hands. And now we're on to the next day where the lighting is completely different and I have a different shirt. If you're wondering what I'm eating, it's the roasted seaweed snacks from Costco. I Every Asian knows what I'm talking about. And by the way, I'll link every single item I used in the description, so don't worry about it. And I started painting the thorns of the rose, which are like this weird muddy green brown. Gross color, but I just mixed brown and green. And another thing, the rainbow water bottle you guys keep seeing, I drank around 10 of those in the span of this whole video. That water bottle carried me through this video. And yes, I still drink lemon water with a little bit of honey in it. Also, hot Cheetos are my second favorite snack at the moment. And now my voiceover is coming to an end because at this point I finished all of the rose cubes. Howdy. All my packages came in. This is the 120 more cubes because I caved and said I wanted 20 extra because it was the cheapest technically. Like if you had $15 and could choose between 100 cubes and 120, you're gonna take 120. This is the wood glue that I shouldn't have had to buy. I basically finished painting all of the rose part. It was too tedious, honestly. I'm so tired. Like I'm still finishing some of them. If I could disown two children, it'd be these because look at them. This is like five layers and they, they just don't want to comply. I'm just going to make sure that that side doesn't face out when I'm gluing it together. Remind yourself right now, Frederick, before you forget in the future. So now I'm going to paint the flower pot portion. I'm going to paint a hundred cubes. I fucking hate this project. This whole week has been Minecraft paintings and I, I don't think I'm gonna play that game for a while now. Guys, it was all a lie. She lied. And someone please tell me how to get full coverage paint on this because I thought this paint was good enough. Clearly not. Is Amsterdam paint not good enough or something? Like do I need to buy a hundred dollar paints? Whatever. Time lapse, start. I'm replaying the recording right now. Just watch the grapes slowly go away. I don't know why I think it's so funny. Just watch the grapes I'm eating slowly like disappear. And on another tangent, my Premiere Pro just crashed itself and I didn't save and I lost like 30 minutes of my editing. Fun times, guys, fun times. Back to the video, my table is ruined now. I mean, I expected a little paint to get on it throughout the years, but there are so many layers in that little area that I just had to cover it up with the Amazon packaging. Not sponsored, by the way. Vsauce, Michael here. Is that what they say? Yeah, I haven't watched the video in years. I just made this astounding discovery that the flower pot is six by six and the stem from the rose is only one block. And I've already said this in the voiceover probably, but I painted some extra blocks just in case I want to add some detail here and there, or like make it look more 3D for the rose. But if the stem is one block and the flower pot is six by six, I can't put the flower in the center and that drives my cancer mind insane, and I can't do that. I know it looks like I'm unorganized, but in this aspect, no. 
it has to be odd. It's the same way I build Minecraft houses. I have to be able to fit two doors, not one. So I'm making the executive decision to make this a five by five flower pot, just so I can fit the stem in the direct center, which means I'm actually saving a lot of blocks, which means I didn't have to buy the other 120 cubes. At least I think. I haven't opened it yet, and we're gonna see if I actually don't need it. I haven't kept track, but judging by my calculations, I think I need, let's see, 25 plus 25 is 50. Five from each side because the block is gonna be on this side, so minus 10 from each side. I would need 80 blocks instead. So if I have to do pixel art again, I will just make it under 100 blocks, please. We're gonna keep going back to time lapse mode. I feel like this time lapse portion isn't even me discussing in the video. By the way, watch the grapes disappear as I eat them. But at this point, I made this great discovery in my head. Why did I bother painting every single side of the cube? Originally, I was debating gluing the cubes and then painting, but I knew with my unsteady hand that some paint would eventually get on the other sides and it, it would drive me insane. But then I realized that half of the cubes I'm gluing on the flower pot only show one side, so I could just paint that one side. And some are also on corners, so I just have to paint three sides or two. Except I'm a dumbass and didn't map out where each cube should be, so I just painted random amounts of one, two, and three sides, and you're gonna see why that messed me up. Okay, so I finally painted every single thing. So all I have to do now, where's my wood glue? Who took the wood glue? So all we have to do now is glue it all together. And yeah, I didn't realize that I bought this much, but hey, that just means I can make more crafts in the future. Hold on, let me make a TikTok of this real quick. I guess what I'm first gonna do is make the 2D version of the rose, because I painted some extra cubes, but I'll just add those on how I see fit, because I can't find a 3D rose on the internet, okay? I've looked for five minutes. All right, let's get to gluing then. One thing that is bugging me a lot is that some of these have like some parts that aren't painted, but if I think more about it, I'm going to throw all of this into the trash. Some of these cubes I just painted one side because I knew once I glue it together, only that side's gonna be showing. And I could have saved so much time if I did that the first time. Whatever, I don't wanna think about it anymore. Okay, I don't know how much glue is too much, so we're gonna start off slow. Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> okay, that's a little too much glue. I'll use this as my reference for next time. I mean, does it dry clear? I hope you do. And do you glue through five layers of paint? because if not, we're gonna have a bit of a problem here. I just realized I have to glue all of these and that all of them have to dry. Oh, I didn't think I would need to time-lapse this, but I think we're gonna go ahead and time-lapse this. I'm gonna do something smart and not put all my eggs in one basket, build off of this one cube and hopefully have it stay together while it's drying. So we're gonna like glue these two together, these two together and like, We'll get there. So to make more sense of how I ended up gluing everything together, I would look at my reference image and just pair up all the cubes next to each other. Glue pairs together and then glue those into, you know, quadruplets. I ended up using a paintbrush too because, you know, these, these oil brushes suck and I don't even use oil paint anyways. Also at that point, my wrists were so close to getting carpal tunnel. Like they're in physical pain. Listen to this. And my neck too, like, should a neck do that? Uh, let me see if I can get my back to crack. Like, what the fuck is up with that? I keep going on tangents. Back to the video. Making this rose 3D was very hard, actually, because I couldn't figure out where I wanted to place all the cubes. There was no reference for a 3D rose because no one's done it on the internet, apparently. But I just stacked them all up in a way that made sense, and I wanted to use up every cube I had. Now, gluing the flower pot portion, this is what I was talking about when I said I should have mapped out where every cube should be so I know what side I should paint. Because I did all of them random, I had only, you know, a few chances to get this all right. And I made the executive decision to first glue two sides together. Like, do those separately so they look good at least, and then connect the in-between parts. You're gonna see why it doesn't work out at all. I'm just telling you right now, this video is not a tutorial. Because the flower pot's hollow and I'm just adding one line of dirt on top, you can still see inside a flower pot by one cube. And the inside of that portion was kind of a not painted that was one mistake another mistake i completely forgot that the flower pot has a bottom to it i did need to use more cubes than i thought and the cubes aren't perfectly cubes and as much as i want to blame the manufacturer i know not every cube can be perfect but each millimeter that is not cut perfectly adds up and now the flower pot has a lot of gaps inside of it update vlog no i'm kidding um so after painting all day all week in fact i haven't gone out at all i'm getting paler by the second I realized that I'm down by four cubes. Well, actually, 
13. Somewhere along the line, I miscalculated how much I would need for the outside of the pot, but I completely forgot about the inside of the pot. So we're gonna have a hollow flower pot, okay? I'm just gonna use it as a hiding spot for condoms. I'm just kidding. There's no one to even use them for. But yeah, I don't know where I forgot about that. Uh, so don't take this video as a tutorial. So I've been scraping this out of the pot, just like my extra paint, because I knew something like this would happen. I also have to paint the inside of that anyways, because I didn't paint all of the sides, as you know. And I thought I arranged them in a way that I wouldn't have to paint more. Next time, I'm gonna number every one of them. You are all gonna have your individual spot. Another thing, these cubes aren't one inch by one inch, they're off by like one nanometer sometimes, and those nanometers add up. So this is wobbly. There's some gaps around here, and it's I, that's why I glued the inside of this pot. We're not taking any chances with this. So yeah, that's all that's been going on in my life. I hope your life is okay too. See this? I'm digging. I'm taking every last scrap because I actually used up all the paint still. And I can't mix this paint again because it'll just be off by a little bit. And I'm gonna have that one cube that's just not right and everything's just gonna look terrible. Because when, ha when has a painting video gone right for me? Name one where I didn't mess up. The rose is basically a blunt weapon at this point. It came out really good actually. I'm proud of it. And these extra cubes are just little things I'll add on to the end of the pod, make it look like the roots are growing out or something. Something cute, I don't know. This paintbrush is completely ruined. It's chunky now, but don't worry, it's terrible quality anyway, so I don't care about it. I think I'm just gonna finish this up and then I'll show you the assembly part where I have to pray that this rose doesn't topple over when I'm gluing it onto this. See this one cube on the end? That is holding this entire thing together. Architecture majors, watch out. One eternity later. <coughs> that wasn't intentional. There is a not <coughs> there is not enough hot Cheetos and CB snacks in the world to fill my appetite, but I literally don't know what I want. I feel like I have a mind of a child right now. Anyways, I finished the pot. We're not gonna go too up close because it'll look stupid, but I told you each cube is not perfectly symmetrical, which I still do not like. So I first glued together a side, this one, then I did this one separately, and I did the two inside portions, the three by fives. And I thought it was simple. I could just glue all of them together like walls, but no, they didn't want to connect in the middle. There are huge gaps, and I'm talking Donald Trump huge, Gaps in between the three by fives. It's on both sides. I don't know how they're glued together. I think it's because I put so much glue inside the pot that it just filled in the gap. But it's together. I also glued the inside portion. So we have dirt now. And I bet you're wondering why didn't you just put this little cube inside here instead of filling it in with this middle cube. I tried. I tried shoving that in there just so forcefully. <laughs> how do I do this with the least amount of sexual innuendos? I tried putting the cube in the cube shaped hole for like five minutes straight and it just, it won't fit. It doesn't fit. For some reason, this other cube does. Tell me that's not every rejection story you ever heard of. So I'm gonna go off my best judgment, balance this on top, glue that, add all of these around it just to get a good foundation and never touch this project again. I'm gonna spray it down and I'm gonna leave it by my desk for the rest of eternity. I am almost at the finish line. I'm so tired. I'm. I, if it falls, it falls. All right, moment of truth. Oh God. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna hold it there for just a while. I'm gonna wait for this to dry first and then I'll add the extensions. I'm afraid to touch it. Oh, that was a terrible mistake. Oh my God, there's too much glue now. You guys can't see what I'm doing, but trust me, it'll look good at the end. See, look at that, look at that. It's extending, that way it won't fall. Does that look stupid? I feel like it looks stupid. If I add this piece, I think it looks natural. Does this look stupid now? Whatever, too late. Now I'm gonna add another one going diagonally to, you know, add to that depth like that. Yes, and this is the final piece. Okay, we're done. I almost picked it up. That would have been a terrible mistake. I'm done. Well, this cube just fell off. This is the end of the video. So if you enjoyed, give this video a like. If you want me to do more pixel art, please let me know. And also make it easy for me. <laughs> Subscribe for more videos every week. I noticed 50% of you guys aren't subscribed. That's so...
what is it, selfish of you? Turn on my notifications, and let's read a coming out story now. To any newcomers, welcome, but at the end of every video, I read a coming out story that you guys give me. They're always anonymous, but they're just here for you to be inspired. I learned I like girls in 2013. However, I didn't want to admit or accept the fact that my attraction to guys wasn't genuine. Ooh, this is good vocabulary. I forced myself to try and be with guys to see if I found the right one, because then I'd feel something. I didn't, and I ended up having a traumatic experience trying to force myself to be with a guy. I decided to stop fighting in June 2019. I have been out as a lesbian ever since. I've been dating my girlfriend for a couple months now and it feels so good to want to be in a relationship and to look forward to being physical instead of dreading it. That is excellent grammar. Thank you for sharing your story. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. What if I sprayed this with rose perfume? <laughs> I wonder what my mom would think of this. She's been wondering what I've been doing for the past week. And I just show her this, she'll be like, why the fuck didn't you buy me a real one then? <laughs>